Welcome to the Philips IntelliView Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will talk about monitor profiles. Let's get started. Profiles are predefined monitor configurations. They let you change the configuration of the whole monitor so you can adapt it to different monitoring situations. To view profiles in your monitor, select Profiles in the Monitor Info line or select the Profile Smart key. Explore the profiles you find in your monitor. Here you can view my list. A profile groups actually three categories of settings. The first category is the default screen layout that is linked to the profile. The second category is the measurement settings. These relate directly to individual measurements. For example, if a measurement is by default switched on or off, and the color of the measurement, and what are the default alarm limits, or what is the unit of measure for the measurement, and so on. The third category is monitor settings. These relate to the monitor as a whole, so for example the brightness of the display, the default alarm volume, the default QRS tone volume, uh, the wave speed, the pulse source and many other things. If you switch to a different profile, the patient category and the paste status normally change to the settings specified in the new profile. However, some profiles may be set up to leave the patient category and paste status unchanged. I recommend always check the patient category, paste status and all alarms and settings when you change profiles. To swap the complete profile, you select profiles in the monitor info line or select the profile smart key and then choose a profile from the list. In my case, I will select a pediatric profile and then I confirm my selection below. The monitor now loads the default settings for the chosen profile. And now that you change the profile, always check again that patient category and paste status and all alarms and settings, remember. Adjacent to changing settings, you can also choose a different screen layout if you want now. It's good to understand that working with default settings in the monitor using profiles may help standardize your care. But once a profile is chosen, you still can adjust settings to optimize monitoring for your patient. And also remember that the changes that occur when you change a complete profile are more far-reaching than those made when you change a screen. Changing a screen only affects what is shown on the display. Profiles affect all monitoring measurement settings. And finally, one more thing you need to know. Your monitor may be set up to switch back to the default profile when discharging a patient. The default profile in your monitor is indicated by a diamond-shaped symbol. Well, that's it for now. Check out our other microlearning videos too. Thank you for watching.